So for the Joe Budden fans and the whatever it is fans, stuff's starting to get a little messy between both. We seen Cam go on live and crazy on Melissa Ford. He said a whole bunch of stuff. He brought up her, a bathroom, a nice tea. I don't even want to repeat it myself in case he says it in this clip. I don't even want to repeat what he said myself because it was so crazy. And it was wild to see Cam this mad because we haven't seen Cam this mad in a while. I feel like every time we see Cam, he's always in a good mood. He's out there promoting Pink Horse, promoting his sports talk show, Diplomats, always on tour. Like, it hasn't really been crazy in a while. We really haven't seen Cam in a beef. Last beef I remember, Cameron was with 50 Cent. How long ago was that? So now to see Cam beefing with the Joe Budden podcast and Melissa, actually specifically due to what she said about a story that Mace and Cam might have shared on his podcast regarding women that they received service from, talking about Mace and Cam. And Melissa ended up saying on the Joe Budden podcast when they were talking about the whole thing was, how did he know she was of age or something like that? That was, that got him super mad to the point that he was, that he was threatening of even suing, saying that he has a defamation case on his hand. But I don't want to talk too much more into it. I kind of want to let Cam explain it and we can and talk throughout the video. Nia Mace. He even put this picture up of him and Melissa Ford. I told this B don't touch when we took this pic. F you and your apology. Stay strong and stand on business. We just busy at the moment. We'll get to you soon, boo. And nothing violent before you accuse us of more S. That's inaccurate. Immigration. Ice. Crazy. Because he keeps saying she's not from this country. I, she's Canadian, as you guys know. Keeps saying she's not from this country. Ain't from Harlem. Nigga, I'm sure you cool with a whole bunch of Dominican niggas. You better chill. With all that ice, you gonna have niggas like, yo, you can't go to Cam's house this weekend. Nah, this nigga made the block. How you keep talking about ice and immigration? Pull up over there. Talk about old stories. I know me since I was 11 years old, maybe younger than that, maybe nine or 10 years old. So we talk about old stories. Now you're going to be long winded because I don't want to be up here all day. I just want to make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s, which I was talking about, the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in the whole house. Yeah, I know that's her. I have a lot of sending Cam the juice, but that's where he got the 2K from. That's the story that I was saying that I didn't want to say out of my own mouth. And I see somewhere chilling at home right now. Like, don't ever throw me under the bus. If you niggas got a story and you try to throw a girl under the bus so you know she might have done some shit with me back in the day, I'm living my best life today. Don't come and open a can of worms for me. You don't know if me and my girl was arguing that day. Now it goes viral that I was cracking some joint in the side of a 350Z back in the day and that shit go viral like chill let her live see it say the all seeing camcorder not the all seeing camcorder that nigga was out there cracking shit not me the L all seeing camcorder we just laughing having fun and we saying we you know we whatever we's in the old house Mace, you know Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because you know he's a man of god and he got other shit going on but he remembers his past sometimes so sometimes he's let me talk anyway i'm talking about this time we in the whole house and all that shit talking about um, we slid a bitch all this shit Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on on Joe Button's podcast where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to. But you're what Cam said of his own mouth. She said there might have been. That word there might have been. She never said that for sure there was underage girls and he was doing something with. So I don't, that's the reason I don't think he has a defamation. We wasn't 18. I just turned off. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from or whatever p shit they on wherever you from we not on that I ain't even going into that more of the story she said it knowing the times we in Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever they like yo that's some serious allegations to stand in third but they didn't edit it out so from two things I take from that they either threw her under the bus or they said Let's get the ratings or whatever they want to do. Even when it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. She tried to apologize, and I said to myself, nah, because if I address it in a month or whenever I felt like addressing it, people going to be like, oh, Cam, she apologized. Leave it alone. You can't just say shit like that, and, and three days later, two days later, be like, oh, my bad, I wasn't thinking. You damn right she wasn't thinking. That kind of goes back to the party and the Meg Thee Stallion thing where he said that she was throwing rocks and then hiding her hand. Doing something like that basically is what he's saying about Melissa. You can't say something that crazy and don't give me a chance to reply back to the statement because you apologize. It's Cam's right not to accept the apology. apology. Yo, people can tell you whatever they want. It's your choice to accept the apology. Also, when you say something crazy out your mouth, please remember that I might laugh about it, but that dude standing right there might not laugh about it or he might laugh about it and I might not. You don't know how everyone's going to react to that source of information. So when you're going to say something out your mouth, you got to stand on bed there. He wasn't thinking. Y'all shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, that's some serious allegations. But I say that in the beginning. You're not even from here. All jokes, I'm not going to try to keep going with Cam. But if you guys watch the podcast, I've been saying that shit for a minute. Like, yo, Melissa be jumping in at the weirdest times and saying the dumbest shit. I'm not saying I dislike her like when she first jumped the podcast. And I never dislike Mel. I, Mel's cool. I've been knowing her since back in the day hip-hop video. What I'm saying about the podcast, it just felt like, you know, a guy's only like a clubhouse. Like, I used to come back, watch Joe. Everybody think it was funny. They will talk about Jones that they were smacking crazy. Crazy stories that I thought would be watered down a bit more just that they have a girl part 
part of the cast now. And they do, they are a bit more respectful now that she's there. They are a bit more respectful. And she always jumps in and, you know, always tries to come back her little feminist sides, which I understand. Grant, or does it warrant for Cam to go this crazy? It's not for me to say. I probably would have never done what Cam did, but she didn't diss me. She dissed Cam. You got to know who you're talking about. Every action has a reaction. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to Ice-T you in the bathroom for $2,000 when you were and doing waitress and I didn't even go there. You used to in the bathroom. Can I wear them old ass club bitch? Stop. You're a video vixen. Anyway, so I dressed it yesterday. I'm like, nah, don't say sorry because I'm some, that's some serious shit. And I didn't even get at you the way I should have got at you. I left it alone. I'm like, this bitch is bugging. Try to say sorry. So I dressed it yesterday. So I wake up today to go on live. Been for two days on live for who knows. I said, let me see why. It's the picture where uh, it's been flagged and I'm banned from live. Whatever. I don't give a f that shit don't bother me. All them little technology games y'all playing, nigga. I'm from the payphone hour, nigga. Beeper, beeper, nigga. Fuck. I love hearing old niggas talk. That shit just made me feel younger. A beeper, a payphone. Damn. Like, imagine having to go and call a nigga from a payphone. Then they ripped them shits out of New York today. Like, thank God we didn't have to live through that. I can't imagine life with no GPS. That's one of the craziest ones to me. Like, going around with a map and shit. And I remember that shit as a kid. Drove, I was real young, probably like four and shit around there. But I remember niggas pulling up. Yeah, it's maps and shit. Like, Nah, that's crazy. Now if I a nigga driving up the turnpike looking like Christopher Columbus, like you discovering new land. Like, nah, that's just wild to me. I literally can't wrap my mind around that shit. I cannot wrap my mind around pulling out a map and finding out where to go. Like, I would blow it up. Sue niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker, right? Now, if I sue y'all niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker. Well, I might be a sucker. I just might be. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about being a sucker. Shout out to Joe Buttons for hiring all these washed up niggas. All these old motherfuckers who ain't got nothing else to do. Shout out to you, my nigga. Cause these niggas is washed, nigga. Dry cleaning business, nigga. You you killing them with that. That out there on somebody. How serious that is. That's why I asked if you just wanted to apologize for that because that was crazy. I did, and and the way they responded, like I commend them for it because they could have jumped out the window and would have been well within their right for that. Absolutely. You said, oh, you you're gonna get your ass handed for that comment. What he's talking about? How they originally responded before Cam went on live. I'm, that's not to stop. I'm sure he's talking about when they first replied on the show and they was just laughing. Mace was like, you know, like trying to play it cool and shit. During that live, I watched the whole rant. That's not the whole rant with Cam. And I said, do you, do, are you sure that you want that to be there? Because they're going to kill you. This is what I said. Mm -hmm. Mm, no, you didn't, but okay. Um, well, either way you stood, what, either way you stood at your point in that conversation, valid without that. I agree with that as well. It didn't even need. It didn't need that. it. You're absolutely right. I will, I don't even want to say the phrase, walk it back. I'll just say I apologize. Yeah, I should, I should. I, so that's what came and saying that he didn't want the apology for. All right, cool. I missed that. I, sh I should never have made that insinuation. I do know the, they they did offer grace I, they because they, they could have said did. something Absolutely. completely differently, and I appreciate that. Only if she knew the future. Only if you was that so a raven, and you would have saw what was going to happen a little bit more. That nigga just didn't have time for it. He was coming around to it, though, shorty. Shorty, he was coming around to it. You might have reminded him. He said he heard his apology, and that shit got him mad. You might have reminded him. Like, you know what? I actually got, a, I got some shit to talk about. So you're absolutely right. I shouldn't have made that insinuation at all. What my original statement was of that I felt like it was you know, in poor taste, considering the environment that we're in right now, mm -hmm. that's all I could have said. Basically talking about the whole Diddy and everything situation right now. Like, like I feel like she was right. She, her statement was good just stopping there. Like, yo, y'all probably shouldn't share that story. Because when he was saying Mace was hitting her in the back of the head, like, yo, you wasn't licking my, like that. I was just like, and Mace jumps in and Mace's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't hitting her. I wasn't hitting her. Cam, 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 Cam. I wasn't hitting her, though. It was, let's get the story straight. It was all consent. It was all consensual. You a little, you, you, get, you getting lit. You getting lit. You forgot you were on TV. Mad niggas is watching this. Relax. And, and left it at that. Correct. So, yes, I do. But you guys can basically hear, hear Mel just apologizing, trying to regret and walk back the whole thing. Do you guys think she's regretting because she knows it could have got slippery? Or do you think she's regretting because she probably heard it back and was like, that was a dumb statement? You guys let me know what you think about it. Do you think Cam went zero to 10,000 after the apology makes him look worse? Should he have just struck that day that she talked? Would have that made everything look a little bit better? Or should he have just took the route like Mace and just left it all alone and not even addressed the whole thing? You let me know down below what you think about this. But I think that could open a can of worms where, like, yeah, I was one of them too. Yeah, me too. We see it happen every day to these celebrities now. So I understand why Cam did get so angry. That's why I always tell you guys, every action has a reaction. Be careful on who you attack because that person might, you might, why? It wasn't even that serious. Why'd you get so mad? That's for them to decide, not you. But guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below we on that road to 10,000 subscribers sub up sub up sub up